So, let's talk about the episode. Let's talk about the episode. So, basically, this is your typical Lyrica and A1 Steak sauce. We need to talk, but we don't know how to talk. I don't want to deal with arguing. Um... I'm sorry, I was wrong, you was right. I only cheated cause you cheated on me first. Now that I got a bigger platform to you, and now that I'm on this show, now I get to cheat on you, and everybody get to see it, and I get to hurt you just like you hurt me. So basically, that's what this show is about, and this episode is about Lyrica and A1 Steak Sauce. But before we go there, Let's go ahead and get the Ray J. Princess, the birthday party weekend, and all that. Um, Princess, I don't feel sorry for you at all. I'm just going to put that out there. You know what you was marrying, like I didn't say it several times, over and twice over and every season you and Ray have problems, running to issues, you worry about a he cheating on you, all that and everything gets under the sun. This is one of those things where you married to a celebrity, that celebrity got to stay busy and got the do stuff even if it involves missing a birthday party or half of a birthday party or a piece of a birthday party or we be playing the birthday party and do it another day you just gonna have to roll with the punches like that you you just got to roll tumble and fall get your bruise break your anchor crack a rib crack a um break a string of um the shoulder ankle and all that Francis, I know you really ain't on reality TV begging this man and getting mad at this man for going out working when most people ain't got a man and half of them that do got a man that's home and ain't got a job. They worrying about where the hell they bills going to come from and how the hell they going to pay these bills. Francis, and much as I try to love you, you find it so you find some way or you do something or say something that makes me look at you and say, Why do I even bother trying to like you? Like why do I even bother trying to understand you? Like you're a cute girl, I like you, you got a cute personality, all that I ain't got nothing against you, just crazy as hell. But yeah, that falls under the category of it was the girl, your daughter's birthday party. Cute daughter, by the way. Um, yeah, Ray got the work. If you want your steaks to keep coming to the side, take to coming to the side of you on. Uh, when if you want your steaks to keep coming at you on the stick, and you get to roll the stick and see what kind of steak you want, you'll let Ray do what he got to do. You weren't complaining before. Oh, now all of a sudden it's the baby birthday party. Oh, now you man. Francis, if you want your steaks to keep coming on 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 um on the stick like that, that you get to pick and choose what kind of steak you want, you ain't got to worry about no bill or how the hell I'm gonna pay this um this bill at this um restaurant. You better shut up and do like other people, suffer through, deal with the busy. The cool down gonna be much funner, but I'm pretty sure being busy, yeah, it's hard work. But once you up. And once you're doing good, it's best to keep that in the air flowing, keeping it good, keeping your money coming in by all means necessary. Um, yeah, it's really nice to keep your money coming in nice like that. I'm pretty sure you're not complaining when you go on running up bills and stuff, or you just complain when you ain't when he ain't spending enough time with you. That's when you had the complaints, huh? Mm hmm. Francis, get over it. It's just a birthday, baby. Birthday can be planned. Birthday can be canceled. Birthdays can be moved to the next day when it's not busy. I know you're not upset about a birthday party. You just wanted attention, and I can kind of understand that you were married to an attention horse. So I'm not surprised or shocked that you want the attention. So we just going to let you have that moment, I guess. Um... 
And get off that man way. If that man want to be big, let that man be big. Hell, you made him skinny. He didn't gain a couple of pounds. He didn't let himself go. And, um, if y'all sit so long, ain't complaining, start complaining, princess. I'm pretty sure you aren't ready to be his normal, um, slender, skinny self like he used to be back in the days. But, yeah. Help the man out some. You saw then the wire that uh, you saw then tore that steak up like you was a wolf up there tearing meat off of an animal bone or carcass. And you saw that I mentioned up that I met one the piece of that steak and all that. And that whole dinner was the butter here behind up if you didn't catch on. I know it the second he said before he said it out of his mouth. This was the butter you uh. Cause he gonna miss the birthday party and sound like y'all been having her birthday party for a whole week. He said he went to the first three. He just missed this one. Princess, go play in the corner somewhere. Go do something. Go go do something fun. Ain't your makeup line calling you with orders or something? Really? Sound like y'all been partying the whole week for the baby anyways. You upset over one birthday because all family going to be there. I'm pretty sure Sonya, Brandy, and them understand or your side of the, well, your side of the family understand that Ray had to be the work. He'll make up for it, all that money he bringing in. Is it really that important, Princess? Are you really about to have an argument over a birthday party and sound like y'all been partying ever since the baby, whatever day the birth, baby birthday party? Princess, princess, go have a seat somewhere, love, because it ain't working. Not nothing coming from you complaining about Ray J. Honey, you knew exactly what you was getting and what you was diving in head first when you dived in that pool. Princess, ain't nobody prayers. Really, ain't nobody prayers. Really. Now back to the one of these, um, it's just one of these sad love songs that's lyrical keep on saying it. Favorite song, favorite artist, lyrical keep on messing it up because she keep on playing and crying this sad love song about A1 steak sauce. She don't want it, but she want to sit around and upset everybody else and ruin everybody else one sitting up here crying and all that. Um, but anyways, though, this was a plan to try to get Lyrica and A1 steak sauce at all. And basically, he admitted it, what I thought he was going to admit. You cheated. I'm cheating. You did your stuff off the show. Now nah, I'm cheating. Now nah, it's going to be on this show. Now nah, I got the bigger platform. Now nah, I get to embarrass you like you embarrassed me before this show even came up and before we was on this show. So basically, you embarrassed him and now he embarrassing you on this show. I get it. But both of y'all got to uh, but both of y'all got to go to counseling or something to get y'all self together because A one, even though if she cheated first or second or third or whoever first, that does that does not give you the right to go about go behind that woman back still doing that. This show is being seen by millions and thousands and trillions of people. You are embarrassing the hell out of that woman. You got a bigger platform. It might have hit the blogs and all that, maybe YouTube. But still, this is being played over TV, being recorded, downloaded. This is out here forever. You're cheating in your sex capades. What she might have did, what she might have did when you did to you before this show came out. Yeah, um, you can go back and look it up. Or try to find it or whatever. You might be lucky. You might not. But if this show get canceled right now, I'm pretty sure that woman got a blueprint, a blueprint of you and your cheating and your accusations and all the women you then slept with. Y'all both just need to go to counseling and get y'all self some help. Um, talk. Do what y'all need to go ahead and do or whatever, because at this point, I'm tired of it. And that's all y'all got to offer us, y'all cheating and A1 sleep, sleep, sleeping with everybody and anybody with a pause. 
and you sitting up there upset, man, now you got a child, now you got to decide for you and your child when it was just y'all, and you don't know what you're going to do, you don't know if he's going to take it back. This episode, I can say, was the first time, well, maybe the second time, that I ever heard that man sound like he was really, really, really sorry, and he really wants you bad, and that he really want to try to make this work with counseling or whatever he can do to make this work out. He tired of the arguing, he tired of the BS, he tired of all this and that, and I can understand that. Dealing with this show, then going back, watching it all over again, it get tiresome, it get boring, it get uninterested. I've been interested for the second year of y'all cheating escapades, what well, I got to do what I got to do. But anyways, though, I think after all this time and after all them past, I can say that A1 Steak Sauce might actually be sorry for cheating on you. And he might actually try to change or try to make things work for you. I can see it. Don't know if he going to commit to it or not. That's between you and him and that's between y'all. But, yeah, the cheating got to stop. Like I said, A1, I know it might have been fun for you cheating on well, You cheating on her, getting her back and all these times she didn't got you. But, yeah, buddy, you embarrassing her on a bigger platform than what she might have had. Because this show even came out. And now that your stuff all over the all over this show... Is that something really to be proud about? That you slept with all these different women and all this and all that? And Lyrica, that jerk mess that you did in Chicago with that man where you was too lazy to get... It's a whole lot of mess, but I hope y'all can make it work. Can y'all please get it together because we ain't got to go through another whole season of y'all and y'all cheating and y'all and all this. Mm. Just get it together, please. Just get it together. That's all I ask. Just get it together. No more of y'all and y'all sex capades. We got to deal with that enough on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta with Kirk and Rashida. And his, I want to cheat, but I don't want Rashida to kill me behind. But we do with that enough now. We don't need another, imp we don't need another, um, sit well, not another series, another Love and Hip Hop way. They got their own little separate cheaters cheetah out there on another show and they basically going down the Kirk and Rashida path and they trying to make it work, trying to juggle it, see can they make it work, see can they not make it work and all this and all that. But yeah, hopefully A1 learned his lesson. Lyrica, you love him. He loved you. He can't help but to cheat. It was something about him that made you fall in. Go back to that time when you first fell in love with him. And you need a refresher, or you need a refresher, um, course, or you need a reason why you fell in love with this man, and why you still in love with this man, why you snuck that crying for two days up there in your room. Go back to when y'all was happy or something. Just hurry up and get it the hell together. Do something. Please hurry up and do something. Because that was enough. Like, um, Paris, London, France, nice try with the love party trying to cheer, um, Lyrica up. Where did you go find them people from? The Vegas script. For well, $50 a second or $50 an hour. You could have went and found better than that. Like, I'm with, um, who that was, Booby? Yeah, I'm with Booby. I didn't see other shows have better, at least somewhat, soft par scripts than that. I don't know where the hell you got them from. Probably down the road, down from the corner. They had a sign, hey, we homeless, we'll work for food, or do anything for food. I don't know where you found them at, but you could have kept them in your little stack of ones. It looked like there was a stack of ones 
hell it didn't look like it was real money but we gonna let you have that one paris you try you cheered her up she was laughing and having fun so i ain't gonna knock it too hard london paris Chris. you did your thing what you had to do no i do not believe for one second that zaya has test with that well yes i do believe that he has it he on this show he attached to this so show um the girl looked like she was thirsty anyway and so Zell had sex, even though I don't know why anybody has sex with a man that say he bisexual, but act more gay than straight, so guess it to each his own, I guess, but yeah. Um, Booby and, um, Booby and April. <sighs> Booby in April. Y'all don't have no chemistry at all. I don't even much. I don't even much know what the hell Booby saying to you, but okay. Um, he got a pass. You got a pass. He's a cheater. Um, Drew could be considered a cheater too, but that's his problem. Not none of mine. I don't care enough to figure out is he if he is a cheater or not. So. Gone away with that mess. I, I don't care. Like, really, I don't. Mm, yeah. Keep wishing him way along finding somebody. Anybody he do find, good luck with him. How he treated Keisha Cole. Anybody that do get with him, honey, they're going to be... Um, they're going to be in a whole lot of hurt and pain in hell. But anyways, though, that was it. I ain't going to talk about the Jason Lee stuff because that's his own little personal battles, and I'm, I don't like him. So we ain't going to talk about him and his dad not talking to him and his family treat him one way, his dad treat him the other way. We're going to let him work that out on his, on his cell, and hopefully he can find a way or an outlet that like April said, this show helped me talk back to my dad because me and my dad weren't talking to I brought him on this show. And now me and my dad, t maybe he'll have an April moment where he wasn't talking before. And this show maybe could help them talk a sudden. But anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.